Welcome Cloud Gurus to this episode of Azure This Week. This time it's a bunch of little features and changes that are making their way to you on Azure. We'll look at four of them available now on Azure and these include manual fallover for IoT Hub Cloud Service, now in public preview, instance size flexibility for Azure reserved virtual machine instances is now in general availability, Azure Management Groups is now in general availability and Linux on the App Service environment is now also in general availability. Coming to you right now on this episode of Azure This Week. Don't go anywhere. The IoT infrastructure on Azure is continuously being expanded and improved. And now there's another small but very useful feature for the IoT Hub Cloud Service on Azure you can have a manual fallover from your primary Azure region to a corresponding geo-paired region. The IoT Hub service provides cross-regional automatic disaster recovery as a default mitigation for such failures. The recovery timer though for those, you know, that recovery process is objectively two to 26 hours. IoT solutions which cannot afford to be down for so long can now use the IoT Hub manual fallover feature to fallover their IoT hubs from one region to another in a self-serve manner. The recovery time objective for IoT Hub manual fallover is 10 minutes to 2 hours. This feature is now in public preview. You can reserve Windows and Linux virtual machines on Azure for 1 or 3 years and get significantly reduced pricing. This is called Azure Reserved VM Instances. No surprise there. Now generally available, you can get instance size flexibility. This is a new feature that makes your reserved instance purchasing and management even simpler by applying reservation discounts to different virtual machine or VM sizes within the same VM group. With instance size flexibility, you don't have to deploy the exact same VM size to get the benefit of your purchased Azure Reserved Instance or RI, as other VM sizes within the same VM group also get the RI discount. Management groups allow you to organize your subscriptions and apply governance control such as Azure Policy and Role-Based Access Control or RBAC to the management groups. No matter if you have an enterprise agreement, certified solution partner, pay-as-you-go or any other type of subscription, this service gives all Azure customers enterprise-grade management at large scale for no additional cost. With the announcement to general availability, there is new functionality that allows customers to group subscriptions together so that you can apply a policy or RBAC role to multiple subscriptions uh, and their resources with one assignment. That's the key. Now management groups not only allow you to group subscriptions but also allow you to group other management groups to form a hierarchy. By using management groups you can reduce your workload and reduce the risk of error by avoiding duplicate assignments instead of applying multiple assignments across numerous resources and subscriptions. You can apply the one assignment on the one management group that contains the target resources. This will save time in the application of assignments, creates one point for maintenance and allows for better controls on who can control the assignment. This very important change to how you manage roles and resources on Azure is available now. If you're into deploying your Linux or containerized web app to Azure, well then now you can. The Linux on app service environment is now generally available. And this is ideal for deploying applications into a VNet for secure network access or apps running at a higher scale. With Linux on ASC, you can now deploy your Linux web applications into an Azure virtual network or VNet by bringing your own custom container or just bringing your code by using one of the built-in images. Since public preview, the service is now expanded to offer Linux on ASC to all app services on Linux's 20 plus regions. That is it for this episode of Azure This Week. To recap, Azure IoT Hub now offers manual failover functionality to let you take control of any urgent cases where minimal downtime is critical. Instance size flexibility for Azure Reserve Virtual Machine instances is in general availability. Azure Management Groups is now in general availability and this is a super important feature to both reduce the workload as well as the risk for your Azure infrastructure. And then finally, Linux environments are now available with the Azure App Service environment. See you next week for a lot more Azure news and tips. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus.